Hey, Jim. Well, city leaders like the mayor, they started by referring to nights like last night. He's talking about the National Night Out event, which is meant to strengthen ties between police and community. He said it was a positive night. It gives him hope for the future. As to how to get this done, though, that was not a definitive answer. While compared to last year, our baseline numbers have steadily decreased in what were traditionally the slower months, the number of victims in July reached what were previously unseen levels. It's not unusual to see more crime in hotter months as more people are outside. We don't think that it's any coincidence that this past month um, saw us experience increased levels of violence during one of the top five hottest Julys on record. But with the increasing numbers of victims and the decreasing ages, communities and families in Philly say they don't even want to go outside. To date, I have 119 juveniles that were hit by gunfire this year within Philadelphia. 31 of them were less than 15 years of age. An 11 year old girl shot by another teen with a gun left out in the open by her mother. A 10 month old baby hit in the hand at a wedding by the groom. Two other teens on the run after firing a gun at a 13 year old girl. These are just some of the recent cases. Police emphasizing that parent cooperation is key in getting these kids help and getting guns off the streets. There's other cases where there may not be a parental uh, person in that person's life. They're staying with a family member. And in that case, uh, like the case I talked about where the 13 year old shot, um, the case in where we're looking for these two other juveniles, no one else has come forward. City leaders and law enforcement say over and over prevention and intervention. But a worried community continues to wonder, is it enough? There hasn't been a clear answer. We have discussions and meetings every almost every day. We never say it's it's enough. It's never enough. With one homicide, it's, 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 not, it's not enough. I mean, I don't have an answer to your question at the moment, uh, but we continue to move forward, do everything we can to make people as safe as possible. And there was also a lot of conversation surrounding how so many community members and families don't feel safe going anywhere. Officials brought up how a top driver of some of this violence is domestic violence and issues at home. He asked us to share the importance of hotlines like the 211 community hotline, as well as the domestic violence one, that number 866 723 3014. Live from police headquarters, I'm Francis Wang, NBC 10 News.